Okay guys, we're back. I'm gonna make sure that doesn't rub on my coat or it's gonna be staticky. There we go, hopefully that's okay. All right. Uh, why does it go so? Okay, so I got some water, this demineralized water, and I got some oil, so we'll dump some of the oil in and we'll dump some water in and we'll start this rig up and we'll see what's leaking on this thing or what the frig's going on. Didn't have my regular so I had to go with the Amsoil 5W20 extended. Um, should be okay. Should be okay. the bugger. Oh, fuck. This truck is not... Uh, I gotta get a bloody... I gotta go to the thing and get the uh, chair. Where the frig is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. This thing is handier than a button on it. Than a pocket on a shirt, man. Oh, smeg, it's already worked itself back on so damn tight. I didn't even turn it. Alright, now we're working with uh, petrol. It's almost a whole liter. Give her a fun little wipe off. Should be good. Alright, let's top up the Gorty Freeze. Uh, hold this thing. Some distilled. Can't read the stupid French side. Distilled water, four liters, tuna, uh, buck ninety nine at what we call the independent store. Sometimes called the yellow store. Ooh, spilled a little. Alright, it's just water. If nothing else, it'll just wash stuff off.
guess we know it definitely takes four liters. Four liters, and there's still room for more. And that's a quick four liters, man. Right? If I had known this, I would have bought two of them. Clear the we're gonna clear the codes erase erase global DTCs yes and press any hotkey this thing has to do an auto link every time. Do an old module scan. Okay. Oh, give it a sec here to do this. Control module zero, ABS zero. Drivetrain transfer case module. Oh, that's not too good. What's that? Steering angle now. Occupant restraint controller. That's the HVAC. Twilight W light sensor input. I've seen that one before. Passenger door module, yeah. cabin compartment. Totally integrated power module. Well, that's not good. What's going on in there? Front fog lamp control circuit high. Lost communication with radio. Yeah, who cares about that?
Okay, nothing looks too scary. Let's start it up. See if we get some. See if we get the uh, heater going up. Oh, I gotta change the battery in the camera. Okay. No, not really anything yet. Let it run for a few moments. Nothing whizzing out the bottom of it. Blowing out a goodly amount of fog, although that could be fairly normal for a cold engine that hasn't been started for a few days, or about two weeks. Nothing yet. Hard to tell if there's anything pooched on this thing or not. We bought three of those waters. Uh. Pop. We need the um, thermostat to open, so... the water circulates. It's bubbling a bit. It's overly bubbling. I'm gonna have to drain all this muck and muck out put real antifreeze in it. Not going up. The rest of them all work. There's no, um, there's no check engine light on. A little concerning the way the. Let's see if we got any heat.
stone cold, man. Stone cold. Uh, I didn't see that go up a smidge. Or did I? Uh. Let's have a look at our DTCs. Zero, zero. Okay, so guys, we've gone, uh, sorry to hold, we've gone up a tiny bit, so we'll see, and we're getting heat, not a shitload, a case where we don't have enough coolant yet, I haven't got any more water to put in there, oh, Blowing a big pukeroo out the top. Okay, guys. Looks like we may have avoided any kind of catastrophe with the ram. I filled it up again with, uh, topped it up with oil, it was about a liter low, and uh, I just put coal, I just put water in it right now because if it all leaks out, I don't want to put real antifreeze in because it's just going to make a mess all over the ground, and it's going to be a waste of antifreeze and a waste of money. So let's see how she does. I am getting heat out of it, and it looks like it's up to temperature, almost, well pretty much. I don't see any... I don't see anything leaking out of it, so I don't know. Maybe we avoided catastrophe. Oh, a bit there. Looks like it's gone down a little bit.
cars and ruins them. There's vehicle with gum boots on sucks. <laughs> oh, tons of heat now, man. Down a little bit. It's actually too hot. Turn it down a bit. Charted things still go into 4x4 mode. I'm not supposed to really be driving this thing with water in it, but we're just going for a preliminary. Whatever the hell that means. By the way guys, I should add, if you want some really good information on RAM 1500s and RAM 2500s, uh, I definitely suggest a channel, a YouTube channel called Getty Adventures. Um, apparently the guy on there, his name is Alex, and uh, he just did a really good video on the RAM 1500, why or why not you might, you might want or might not want that um, four-wheel drive auto option instead of just, you know, where it just says four high, four low. Oh. Some vehicles, some of the trucks have a, a high and a low option, or a, an auto option. So, you know, Launch engagement. I'm going to change the tranny fluid on this rig this year. Why is that on? What's well, not closed all the way? That door? some real antifreeze because we can't run this sucker with no antifreeze not a top 10 idea my lads not move this mic not a top 10 idea down the hill and back up in one piece, eh? Alright, I'm all for that. Whew, it's actually too hot in here. Yeah, I was really choked too because I had just put, I had just filled up the tank and I put some uh, water displacement. Oh crud! The camera just took a dump. I should have known that would happen. Let me see if I can just pull over and fix it. coming. Now we're good. Alright, we're still looking good. Oh crud! 
camera fell over again. That's obviously a shitty spot for it. Oh, I'm going in the ditch. Oh, hey, that's not a bad spot right there. Let me uh, just stop here for a sec. A little better, a little better. So, yeah, so just to sum up what happened was I just added some oil because the oil went low. And uh, I put some water in it. I went up to the grocery store and I bought some distilled water because I live out kind of in the boonies a bit. So I just get well water. That well water is it's hard on metal and I sure in hex wouldn't want that crap in my radiator, man. Uh, but, um, yeah, we're looking okay. I might drive to the mailbox and back, and uh, we can just talk on the way <laughs> about everything and nothing. But, um, yeah, I don't know what the frig happened. Something puked out somewhere. Mm -hmm. Kind of afraid to give her the beans a bit in case you know anything pooches up. I don't know what happened. I'm just putting it down to um, that sh shitty cold day, minus thirty. Oh, hey, dog. Ha. See that guy riding his bike with his dog. Dog's getting good exercise if he's running after him on the bike. But I'm doing about 50k right now. Everything seems copesthetic. I'll change the oil again in the spring, like around May. I figure after it's been in there a year, it's time to get rid of it and put new oil in. Uh, right now there's water in there so you know that's not ideal but it's good enough for a test and it's only two degrees so you know it's cold but it's not stuff ain't gonna freeze made it down to the mailboxes in one piece <laughs> right at the US border this is the border you cross this border and you're in Idaho. Put some music on or something. Oh, I can't put music on because it'll get copyrighted. Forgot. That's okay. Two degrees. Nothing coming? No, I always make sure nothing's coming really good I don't just you know burn burn around and I don't know some people can check if it's clear so fast I can't you know oh well but yeah seems to be good there's also a hose dragging in the back that I got a I don't know what those hoses are for they're very weird they're kind of like they look like they could almost be like little quarter inch air hoses or something as far as I know, this thing never had any kind of air suspension or air leveling. It's only a, a 2009 SLT. The thing's got no options whatsoever, man. It's dead. It's dead for options. It's also got a burnt out bulb or something on the uh, fan speed control. But uh, all in all, um, my plan is I'm going to get a, a power wagon. I'm going to look at a power wagon in the uh, summertime, 2500. A Ram 2500 power wagon. And uh, we'll see how that uh, treats us. I'm surprised this is such an easy fix. It's almost too easy. It's worrying me. You know? But like I said, I can't just leave. I can't just leave water in this thing. I got to. Uh, I'll probably plug it in tonight too, 
just to um, make sure nothing freezes. I want to know how much amperage this thing has taken to uh, run the block heater. I got a little uh, device that um, I'll show you guys when we get back. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Because as long as you know the voltage and the amperage, you can figure out the wattage. I usually just, you know, old school, judge everything by a 100 watt light bulb. It's like, uh, you know, because I don't know about you guys, I'm a little old school still. I run around the house, the family, especially the half daft boy, he leaves the lights and crap on like, you know, I'm the CEO of the hydro company. So, you know, I got to run around turning everything off. But, um, yeah, so I got to drain, redrain the antifreeze out. And uh, because there's because it's so diluted now with all the water in there, um, I may not buy a premix of 50/50. I might buy concent. I'll see if I can find concentrated and get uh, and just mix my own 60/40. But um yeah seems fine I don't know I don't know what went wrong I think it, I can't even guess man I don't know the cold something they didn't, didn't like the cold something happened so you know what are you gonna do right you know, this the truck here gives me a little bit of I'm not hundred percent confident in this thing anymore I would say right now I'm about 60% confident in it. So we'll see. Let me uh, turn you around. <coughs> Turn the heater off. No. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ready to navigate. Well, looks like the temp is still doing all right. It's about where it normally sits. The truck's got, what does it got on it? Uh, 264,955K. In my books, that's a lot of K. You know, these guys say, oh, I made it to 300,000, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand. Ah, yeah, I guess so, man, but. I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to trade her in and call her done by about two hundred thousand. So let's hook up the block heater, figure out what the temperature is going to be overnight, and we'll go from there. Might hook up the. It doesn't really look like it needs the battery charger. Might might not hurt to hook that up too. We'll see. Oh, get the seat belt off. Okay. Another thing I've shown you before, guys. This little gizmo here. If you ain't got one, where's the thing? If you ain't got one of these, go get one. They are handier than a pocket with a shirt for get 
any air bubbles out of your antifreeze, out of your radiator. Proof kit. Oh, right there. Okay. AC line splitter receptacle tester. Cool. Alright. Let you guys have a look at it. There you go. Maybe I'll pause it. Maybe I won't, <laughs> but we're going to test it out. Okay, we still recording? No, still recording. Nope. Move them a little bit. Okay, so so here's the here's the end of the extension cord. See? And then we're gonna plug it in here. And we got two orange lights, two orange LEDs, that means we're good. And we're gonna plug it in here. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Klein multimeter and we're going to put it on AC amps. And AC is the wave. Okay. Times ten. Times ten. Oh, times one. Okay. So we got to make sure that you get the times one and the times ten correct, or else you're going to be reading two. It's going to be reading high, and it won't make sense. So four amps. That's not bad. Four amps is usable. Okay. Oh. Get you around here so you can see it for yourself. Oh. Uh, oh, there we go. 4.2 amps of current. The block heater on my Ram 1500 uses. Okay, so. There you go. I'm going to turn the camera off for now and until we do an outro. Yeah, so are we fixed? Mm -mm. It means we're on the fence. We don't know. We don't know. I'm not, I can't plug the charger in because the end of the extension cord only has one plug, so uh, I'm going to keep the um, block heater turned on all night even though it's only supposed to go down to about minus three or so because there's only water in there I don't want that freezing man so tomorrow we'll go and get some we'll, uh, we'll get some antifreeze we'll drain it out We'll put some new antifreeze in. Um, I'm going to take a look. I'm pretty sure I got one of those antifreeze testers for, um, you know, figuring out how cold your antifreeze can go down to. Let me just take a look. Um, if I do, it's going to be in this toolbox here.
put you One side for hot, one side for cold. Well, I don't have my readers on, so I can't really see what I'm doing. So, long as I know I've got it, that's the main thing. That's all I got for you. I'll bring you along tomorrow when I do the antifreeze, and hopefully that. Here is what's ailing this rig. As for now, it's cold, it's getting dark, I'm shutting her down. Uh, I'm going to consider this a win for the Gipper.